Good morning, Jordan. Welcome to online class, fifth lesson, PowerPoint 2007, standard sixth. So we are going to start with our second term, that is your fifth lesson, PowerPoint. Introduction. MS PowerPoint is a powerful tool will help us to communicate our views and ideas effectively using diagram, photos, clip art, sound, colors, design, and animation special effects, right? So in this lesson, we are going to see how you can insert different pictures, clip art, or sound effect. You can give different color, design, and animated special effects you can give to your particular slide to make your presentation more attractive. PowerPoint provides additional features to organize the information in a tabular format. A table is grilled to cells, arranged in rows and columns. So that we are going to see how to insert a table and same time we are going to see how you can arrange or give a proper color and design to your table and make it more attractive one right in this lesson we will learn how to insert a table apply a table style and format the table using various commands so we are going to see how we are going to insert a table same time how you can style it and different commands you can give and make your presentation more attractive one so inserting table entering data in a table and tool you can say table tools that we are going to see particularly here right now i'll show you how we are going to do it now see we have total four slides right now i'm going to add one more right click and new slide can you see this new slide right then i'm just arranging it properly you can see after arranging it from all four sides we are going to insert our table right for inserting table what we are going to do we will click on insert can you see i have clicked on insert then there i can see table you can see here once i click here also you see different options are there right so what I will do, I will select the number of rows and column. You can see as soon as I'm selecting, changing in color, you can see. Can you see that? Right? Now I have selected up to here. Once I click on this, you can see this much I have selected. Now you can see rows and columns are there. The size of the table you can make big or small. For that, you have to come to the corner of the table it can be any side this arrow will come right now you can see this arrow once this arrow comes you click you can see that plus sign is there after clicking keep pressing the mouse button and drag it can you see i'm just increasing the size of the table right so i have showed you how to insert a table now you can see here different options are there. Can you see I'm just bringing my mouse cursor on that patterns and you can see there is a change of color in every pattern. Can you see that? So many options are there. Once I click on this arrow, you can see light, medium, you can see here different options are there, right? Dark, can you see? Once I'm changing it, different options are there, correct? I've selected one. Can you see now, right? Same time, again, if I don't want this color, you can make changes here, shades. Can you see? Different options are there. You can see I've selected one. So you can see color can be given to different shade, different box, different shade can be given. 
you see i'm putting different colors here now now see now you can see here i have inserted a table and every box every row or every column you can give different color even the borders can be adjusted you can see here different patterns are there right it can be no border all border have you want it can be in that pattern even effects are there you can see here shadow effects you can see right so different options are there this is how you can insert a table okay i have shown you how to insert a table same time there are some more options are there i will show you you can see a draw table right even this option is there erase option is there right so though so many different options are available right so this is how you can insert a table again this is a practical based lesson it is very easy to do it that's why i'm doing it practically now entering data in a table suppose i want to enter something here how i can do it just double click with the mouse right you can see the cursor is blinking there now i am just typing your name can you see that entering data in a table right so it is quite easy to enter data in a table again now suppose i can see that size of the font is very small what i can do i can just select it again click on home here you can make changes can you see differences right so easiest way to enter data in a table okay then you can see on your page number 63 and 64 we have completed by inserting a table okay formatting a table style suppose i don't want this pattern what i can do i can just select the whole table how to select it just you can see this sign just click the whole table is selected right after your whole table is selected you can again make changes in that right so suppose i don't want this pattern or this so there were some options were available right we have seen that options now suppose i want to draw one more you can say extra column you can see it is coming in dotted can you see that line see now what i have done i have made one extra you can say row and column right so it is very easy to use it it is not at all difficult to you can say make changes in you can say table suppose i don't want i click on eraser and you can see gone can you see that see gone so i don't want this particular row or table what i can do i can erase it can you see it's very easy to erase can you see the differences so it's very easy to use you can create a table you can insert different rows and columns you can draw table you can erase it it is very easy to operate it so what we have done 
in this practical based lesson page number 63 64 and 65 we have done it next time we will be working with page number 66 to apply borders and border color right right now only we have done inserting different you can say colors we have given to every boxes shading we have done but still next time we'll continue with the borders right and alignments whatever you can see the names are written alignment can be given to it so that we will continue for the next lecture okay till that time you all can stay home be safe bye next time we'll continue with the second part of the lesson